Hello, today we're going to learn how to import the license keys for the Change Guardian product uh, for version 4.0 and newer. All of the Change Guardian products for version 4.2, 4.1, and 4.0 have the same uh, license keys. So uh, the main license keys that you will experience are going to be for the policy editor, the Change Guardian server, and for the appliance if you have installed the appliance. So what you can see in front of you is the Change Guardian policy editor that's been logged in and you're going to want to go to the module manager uh, which is on the NetIQ Change Guardian node. So when you select the module manager which is selected at the bottom of the screen you can see the import license key button. When you select that it gives you the option to um, type in a location or you can select the dot 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 to browse for a location and what you're browsing for is a license key that you would have downloaded from your customer center um, and it's going to be in the format of an XML document like the one that I've selected here. The XML document should represent uh, the license key modules that are going to be uh, purchased by your company. You're going to select that and apply it. I'm going to cancel my window here but the applied license key will show up in the window here and the expiration date will show never expires. Now by default the installation of Change Guardian comes with a 90-day trial license key so you shouldn't have to do this immediately upon installation. However at some point you're going to want to do this especially before you run any updates or upgrades to the product. Importing each of these license keys will open up these modules and you will begin to see the Active Directory, Group Policy, uh, Unix and or Windows modules show up as you add the license keys into the policy editor. As you can see here, I have all of the modules available. Here in front of you, now you can see the Change Guardian server. This is the appliance screen. So uh, when you log in and select the appliance screen, when you log into uh, NetIQ Change Guardian, you select the appliance icon at the top of the screen, and that will give you the WebEAS screen. You will have to log in with root and the password that you specified during your initial installation, and this will give you all of these options. <clears throat> it will allow you to enter the registration key for your appliance. This key is a much shorter key than the license key for your Change Guardian server but you should be able to register your license key here in this area. When you log into this area, if you select the registration icon that I've selected here, it will prompt you with registration request and ask you to provide relative information. As you can see in the screen, my system has already been registered. However, if you were to select the registration link here, it would show a different screen. In this registration screen, copy and paste the registration code for your Change Guardian appliance into the top field that's highlighted here. And then specify any other information that's requested here and then save the information. And once it's all done, registration will be successful and indicates so. WebGAS is not always 100% on the display. However, if the registration has already been completed and successful, then you should be fine. There is a manual way to register without using the WebGAS interface However, um, that code can be received from tech support if desired. The uh, third place that you will need to enter your license key to update your Change Guardian server is going to be here on the server in the web UI. So you will log into the web UI like normal and then go to Help, About, and it will take you to this screen. Then you will select the license link here, select the add license button, and it will prompt you with the box where you can paste in the Change Guardian server license key. Once you pasted this key in here, click the save button 
It will process the key and show it here in the window as a valid license key, or if there's a character missing, it may show corrupted um, or invalid. And those are the three license key entries that you'll need to make the appliance, the policy editor, and the Change Guardian server. Thank you.